YouTube. So today is marks the one month anniversary of me having a job. Yay! Yeah, um, I was going to include how I got the job in this video, but then it, the video ended up in total taking up more than 10 minutes. So I'm gonna do another separate video on how I got this job. Anyway, I now work at a company that is multidisciplinary. There's mechanical engineers, civil, mechanic, oh, sorry, mechanical, civil, electrical, computers, computer scientists, IT, users, the whole shebang, everything, everything's there. I am a computer engineer for this company, and I'm gonna tell you guys how my first month went because the first day was not very engineering. Second, first week wasn't a lot of engineering. Uh, so first day um, we were all given emails the day before like oh, here's the dress code here's what you need to do so we go there we first get like our temporary badges and then we do this like whole day orientation type of thing and the orientation was basically like oh this is our company and I can't really tell you guys what my company is so uh, here's our company here's what we do here's what we build here's the history and some procedures, uh, paperwork, lots of paperwork, oh my gosh. Uh, lots of, you know, non-disclosure stuff, like anything you see here is proprietary, you can't tell anyone, you know. So, you know, they gave us like a little spiel on like what to do on social media. Um, so yeah, the first week was lots of new employee training, uh, sexual harassment training, discrimination, how to use the company credit card, uh, active shooter, and anything you can think of, you name it. That was like my entire first week and a half. And then uh, we have our own company computers and can't really take it home. You have to use your, you know, special, uh, certifications like passwords and everything uh so finally uh my second week halfway between the second week i got placed into a project and so for the first year you get placed into different projects uh could be like two months to maybe like six months they try to keep it like brief so you could tour a lot of different projects so i got interviewed for this project that I was going to be on and they asked me like you know what can you what can you do in this this and this and I said I'm not really uh experienced I explained to them it's my first job out of college so I'll take any kind of experience um and what they did have for me kind sort of aligned with computer engineering but also there was stuff I've never done before like um, like the cer certain programs and certain languages like I've never done C sharp and I've never done BB I probably should but um yeah I have done operating systems so I told them like I know how to use virtual machines and stuff and I know how to do stuff in the command line so that was it was pretty nerve-wracking, my first project interview, but it, it turned out okay. Uh, so, the next week, I was mostly shadowing people, going to meetings, and oh my goodness, like... So in school, you spend maybe a day, at most, talking about the specs for your project, requirements, what results you need to get. Um, and then, you know, you spend the rest of the time, like the rest of the year, whatever, working on your project. And you don't really put too much thought into the specs, how you got them. But in industry, eh, uh, most of my meetings were going back and forth between uh, the vendors, per se. We have vendors, contractors, customers, like the, all that stuff. Uh, all three of them, I guess were discussing some of our requirements and our specs and saying, can we do it like this? No, we can't do that. Uh, why? It's like, because we can't. Or, you know, legal stuff. Um, 
so yeah, there's a lot of that going on. Um, I kind of wish in college, like, we had, like, experience working with a customer. Theoretically, we did. Like, some of our homework problems were like, oh, customer wants this to happen. What do you do? Um, but it's, it's really different in industry. And I've been told that in real life engineering, you spend about 40 minutes uh, talking about specs and requirements, like, you know, formulating them. And then another 40% actually designing and planning and stuff. And then the 20% actual engineering, like building. So I was like, okay, whatever. And then finally, after about a few days of that, actually it was like a week and a half, Finally, by like week three or four, I finally got a task that involved engineering and I was so happy, like yay. And then they said, um, here's some Java code that a company gave us, you know, try to fix it up a little bit. And I was so happy it was Java because I know Java pretty well. I took a few classes on it compared to another compared to like another language. I'm not like a Java expert, but I know Java a whole lot more than I know like, I don't know, JavaScript or whatever languages there are. Oh, Python. I know Java a whole lot more than I know Python, for example. Anyway, uh, I learned a lot about stuff that I should have learned in school, but uh, I, I never really took a software engineering class because it was an elective for me. But anyway, that's like a whole nother story. Uh, yeah, that's all I have for my first month of work. So my future videos and uh, my plan for my future videos include uh, how I got my job and maybe like dress code, how business casual works. Um, oh, also I joined Toastmasters. My company has a Toastmasters club and I think it's pretty cool because we learn like a new word of the day and they do, they practice like impromptu speeches and stuff and like there's someone checking if we did ah or um and stuff. So I think like if I really like try to get with that, maybe I'll become a better public speaker. Maybe. Who knows? Okay. Bye YouTube. Thank you.